Warface, something like a game you think would come out of Arrested Development. It's like a yeah. th- this sort of fake na- <laughs> game name. Warface. It's a, it's a, it's just, <laughs> it sounds like a game made by people that don't really know games. and Except y- it's made by Crytek, who are some of the best FPS yeah. developers, developers in the world. Uh, and I think if you look at what they're actually trying to do with this game, it kind of starts to make faith, that sense. Warface, it's kind of trying to draw on the Facebook idea. This is as much a social network as it is an FPS. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is you get together with some buddies, you're chatting, you're kind of catching up with them, yep. and then, yeah, you just jump into an FPS game. Just jump yeah, in. Just jump in. You know, it's free to play, which is wicked, because then there's no excuse not to at least give it a try. Um, it's got a really interesting squad mechanic, sort of. Yeah, it's all, it's all class-based, so you've got uh, your assault, your medic, your engineer, and your sniper. Yep. Um, so it's a nicely balanced kind of gameplay, um, and some really interesting sort of combat. You can have some hulky kind of big bad guys to kind of kill, you can have mechs to take on, so maybe a nice little stepping stone between this and uh, uh, Titanfall. Titanfall, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're not quite ready to step up to Titanfall, you can maybe have a dip into this instead for a little while. Totally. I um, think um, the reason this really intrigues me is Battlefield can be such a um, daunting experience, mm-hmm. you know, so huge and there's so much to do and see. This looks almost sort of like Battlefield on a smaller scale. And yeah. I think it gives players a nice opportunity to get accustomed to that style of play. Definitely. If you want easy, you pick the wrong side.